individualized uh, or customized therapy is definitely very big on, on our agenda, and the premise is, is, is straightforward, really. That is, uh, it is useless to give a treatment that won't work, and you want to target very precisely the tumor. Uh, in that respect, that's why the immun immunological approaches are so uh, attractive, because in the way that immune cells work, they precisely afford that degree of specificity. And again, uh, the, the goal is to kill tumor cells and not harm normal cells. It's a fact that gene and cell therapies, particularly the gene therapies that have a cellular component, um, are not met uh, or have not been embraced um, by industry so far. And that's because this uh, model really is not the traditional business model that the pharmaceutical industry is, uh, is familiar with. First of all, the pharma pharmaceutical industry as we know it makes by and large drugs that are chemicals and it is uh, born out of the chemical industry of the 18th century. So that's what they're most comfortable with. But it's not just comfort. It's also that the drugs, once they're manufactured, they are sent to a pharmacy, uh, and then the physician dispenses drugs from that pharmacy. Not at all the case for a cell and gene therapy. In this case, you have to prepare a cell, which still today, in most cases, is a cell coming from the patient himself or herself. So you have to have a place to collect the cell. Some are easier to get than others. Uh, you then have to manipulate the cell, which in most cases entail a cell culture, and that means you need a specialized facility with well-trained technicians overseen by a um, diligent quality control unit, and then the cells are processed. So you need all this prepping before your drug is ready to administer that's completely different from the chemical that's uh, in the freezer or the fridge of the pharmacy.